This is China, this is the US, and this small bean could become a pawn in an emerging trade war simmering between these two giants. This is a story of a bean, some tariffs, and the impact it may have on you. You may find tofu a turnoff, but soybeans are in all kinds of other products. Pigs love it too. Soy meal is a staple food. So why is this small bean such a big deal? Well, from 2001 to 2016, soybean exports from the US to China soared from $1 billion to $14 billion. That makes China the largest customer of the product. One of every three rows of soybeans planted in the U.S. is destined for China. It's larger than every other market for American soybeans combined. That's Matt Rivers, CNN's international correspondent based in Beijing. Eight of the top ten soy-producing states voted for Donald Trump in 2016. So if you want to hurt people's wallets in Trump country, this is a really good way to do it. And China knows that. Here's the catch. If China decides to limit the amount of soybeans the U.S. can sell there, tens of thousands of American jobs could be at risk. Prices are bound to drop, and so will U.S. profits. Of course, beans aren't the only pawn in this chess match of titans. Beijing could choose to target other companies and industries instead of, or in addition to soybeans. Think Apple, Boeing, Cisco. So to recap, the U.S. slaps tariffs on China. China could respond and say U.S. soybeans? Nope, we'll buy from Brazil instead. And then what? The risk is that it escalates. The U.S. hits back, then China does it again, and so it goes. And who loses in the end when prices on everyday stuff inevitably goes up? That would be the consumer, uh, a.k.a. you. Beans or brands, this tariff tiff could impact millions with no clear winner.